What's going on guys? My name is Joe. Welcome to today's video. And today I want to talk about my wish list for Black Ops 3. It's finally confirmed Black Ops 3. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed, but then again, the Black Ops series is a great, wonderful series, and I love it so much, especially Black Ops 2. And they're zombies, oh my god. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys like it too. Anyway, uh, so I want to talk about my wish list for it. And before we do that, let's just take a look at the cover photo. If you guys did not look at it, here it is right now. Bam! Uh, I already have it up probably, but well, anyway, as you can see, you see like the three lines in the background for the uh, Roman, Roman numeral three, the three eyes, meaning three, uh, and then also the guy, uh, very futuristic, this obviously takes place in the future as you can tell, and now there's also a huge EXO uh, debate going on as well to whether or not EXO abilities or EXO suits should be back in the game. Um, judging from this guy, this, he, you can obviously tell that he's not, it doesn't seem like he's ha wearing an exosuit. Uh, his back, and I'm pretty sure also in the cover art, they would make it to where you would see his an exosuit, like they did for Advanced Warfare. But it doesn't look like there's anything on the back. And if you guys play Advanced Warfare, you guys know that when you customize your guy with the exosuit, he actually has uh, stuff uh, not that close. It's not that skinny. You could obviously see it running, you see the metal running down the arms and the legs. So. I'm pretty sure there's going to be no exosuits in this Call of Duty, so hopefully, I'm not sure how you guys feel about that, but I, obviously I really don't give a shit. Exosuits are fun. Uh, it's going to be hard to go back to it, but it is what it is. Uh, so now let's get into my great wish list that I have. I actually wrote every, I actually typed everything down so I wouldn't forget. Uh, so I'm going to start off talking about the story real fast. There's actually three game modes that are confirmed. Story, uh, multiplayer, and zombies. Uh, so for the story, uh, especially I don't, I'm not that really picky about the story. I do want though to have flashbacks to World War Two and the previous Black Ops games. Like if they could do, like even if it's a cinematic, if they could show like uh, some parts from Black Ops Two that relate to now. I don't know if it's gonna be like Wood's son, Mason Wood's son, or grandson, I guess from the future. Uh, back uh, flashbacks to World War Two as well. Because even if we can't play World War II, it would still be pretty cool to even see the cinematics. But I'm pretty sure they did put some World War II levels in the campaign as well, which would be pretty fun. You get to use some of those old guns as well. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for the story that I want. Now for multiplayer, it's a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, so for start off, starting it off, the score streaks. Now I have an idea, which I also I, I put in the title as well. Now the exosuit, if it's not going to be the game, you could actually probably put that in as a score streak. So maybe like maybe it could be the highest one, probably like fifth or maybe like 800 points. I'd say 800 points seems all right to get, and you'd be able to acquire an exosuit where you could hop around in. Um, now I heard that maybe they'll still keep the exo abilities, which are actually pretty useful as well, because that. That really is just pushing a button on your thing. It's not really like a piece of metal that's on your back and it needs to like to go around all your body. So uh, it's like the movie GI Joe where they wear those exo suits, but it's just like a plain, it looks like a regular suit. It doesn't look like anything else, like m extra metal coming out of you and all that. So I, I could see how they could do that using the exo ability still. But another thing with the score streaks also. If you guys realized, for the Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 both had K9, so hopefully K9 would still be in the game. That was a great score streak as well. Um, maybe it would be like robotic dogs or some shit like that. That'd be pretty cool. And then just better score streaks. Advanced Warfare only has about two good, well, three, I guess. Three good source, uh, score streaks. And one of them doesn't even kill anything. One of them's a, the one that doesn't kill anything is a system hack because you can disable score streaks and you can disable the exosuits. And then the two other ones are the, obviously the Warbird and the uh, the Paladin. You have those two s score streaks on, the game's over. You won. So, uh, I feel like they should have better score streaks. Black Ops 2 had plenty. The uh, Escort Drone, Stealth Chopper, Orbital VSAT. Where is the Orbital VSAT in Advanced Warfare? There is none. Where is it? Um, just plain stuff like that, too. Now, uh, getting to some of the guns and multiplayer... The pistols, I only have a particular thing with the pistols, and I have this idea off of Chaos Silencer's video. So I did watch a few other people's ideas and thought about this as well. 
The pistols in Advanced Warfare suck dick. They honestly do. There's only one good one, the RW1. And if, you have a, if you're pretty good with the PDW, then that one too. Unless it's like uh, the Elite version, which is the Chucker, which I have. I only use the Chucker. That and the RW1. Those are only two good pistols. You, I don't see anyone else whipping out a pistol in core. In hardcore, I do see some people using pistols, like I did. Because I, I got my royalty for that. But it's just... They, they suck. They honestly do. I don't understand where, like, I'm shooting the Atlas 45 and it's like a pea shooter. I, I feel like it does no damage. It doesn't even sound good either. It sounds like it's just shooting peas out of the gun. So that's my ideas for the pistols. They should make it stronger. Like, the 5.7 is pretty good. And even, like, the M1911, I feel like the M1911 and uh, Black Ops 1 was pretty good, too. It had such a fast fire rate. Uh, I didn't play Black Ops 1 multiplayer that much. I did use... A few of the pistols and the zombies, though, and some of them did seem pretty uh, powerful to use. So that's my idea for that. Uh, going into the map for multiplayer, uh, that I only have a particular about this. The dynamic map events that you know change the map a little bit. I, I really don't give a shit about that. They could put that in. They don't have to put that in. Honestly, I think it'd just be better if they don't put that in. A good example of one that really doesn't bother me that that doesn't bother me that much is. I believe it's the map is called Overflow. It's a DLC map for Black Ops 2, and it's when it's the map that's in Pakistan with like the waterfall coming down, and all the war the water's gonna it's gonna alert you when the water's about to come in, so you can't get in the area. But if you do, then you're gonna die. That's a good dynamic map event right there. It doesn't involve anything. It's just you know it's just part of the map. Uh, maps based score streaks. I'm not that particular about on two. I really don't like those though, to be honest. Um, Ghost had a ton of those. I. I didn't like that. Just don't put any score map based score streaks on the game in the game. Just stick with Black Ops Two and Black Ops One for all of it. Uh but there is one thing that you can take from Advanced Warfare that's pretty good, which is the customization. There's so much customization that I really like from Advanced Warfare that they should definitely put into Black Ops Three. Uh you guys may know that they obviously have the pick thirteen system from Advanced uh Advanced Warfare has the Pick 13 system, and they got that based off of the Pick 10 system from Black Ops 2. The only thing they changed was they added three more for the score streaks, so that we could change the score streaks if we want. You could not have score streaks or can. If Black Ops 3 just ha has that same exact customization, especially with like the supply drops and uh, supply drops, elite variants, and all that, it would be the game would be fantastic. There would be so many variants in the game. And it people would have mad fun, especially if they involve the trading system too. There's a lot of things that people like: the supply drops and the elite variants and all that variants of the guns. Uh, that getting into it, the customization as well for the characters, knee guards, uh, helmets, loadouts, pants, boots, everything, gloves. It's a lot of fun customizing your guy, and a lot of people have fun with that as well. Uh, now another thing too, just for the guns going back to that for also for customization I guess too uh, camos now I feel like gold for advanced warfare is pretty easy to get only 200 kills without any attachments and there's also I think other challenges that for certain other weapons as well but the gold's really easy to get I feel like especially going back to black ops 2 that if you want to get gold you have to complete uh, you have to complete all the challenges and then if you want diamond go for all of the ch all the uh, gold camo for like all the assault rifles, then you get diamond for that. That seems to work out pretty good. And I was I always thought of this idea that like once you have every gun diamond or in a, and gold, I guess that they would give you like a, another camo for completing every single challenge, like either emerald or royalty. That's why I figured that would have happened in Advanced Warfare when I heard about that, but it didn't. I feel like they just give out gold now. They gotta go back to how it how it was about gold being like the number one it's so hard to get um another thing real fast too the league play league play was great in black ops 2 it definitely got into like the mlg i feel like black ops 2 made cod skyrocket up into like mlg and those, all those tournaments especially the one million dollar tournament with i think did optic win that one i'm not sure but i think they did anyway uh so league play was a lot of fun had a great system to it. keep that especially. It's just like ranked play. Ranked play was pretty good in Advanced Warfare. I'm still playing ranked play with my friends and doing GBs as well. A lot of fun. Uh, so that's mostly it. Now going to the um, zombies real fast. 
I really hope that they continue with the Easter eggs and all that and having those fun, uh, excuse me, having those fun, uh, long, challenging Easter eggs. And like, and also, like I said before, mini Easter eggs, like those mini secrets, like the songs as well. And the only thing I'm worried about is how they're going to continue with the story. Because with Origins, uh, I'm going to spoil it for you guys a little bit. The cutscene for the Easter egg for Origins is that you that the whole thing was made up with the zombies. They were all just action figures. But you know what? They could continue with that by making the children make up a fake uh like situations and all that with the same characters maybe or something or maybe future zombies. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, zombies was definitely a fan favorite as well for Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 especially. So, yeah. Now that's all my wish lists I think. Let me just check real fast. Na, 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 na. Except for one thing, I forgot to mention one other thing. Theater mode. Theater mode is a must. They must bring it back. I'm going to show you guys this one clip right here uh, of me getting a double kill. This is the final thing I needed for my launcher to get diamond. I got it, but you know what? It's too bad I can't watch how the, traje the trajectory of it went. Uh, that's what I need theater mode. It helps catch boosters. It helps find cheaters. It show If you didn't record a gameplay, it records a gameplay for you. Right? Who records all the time? I don't record all the time. I'm so lazy. Alright, so that's... Deer mode must be in it. It has to be. It's a must. It honestly must. Uh, so that's all That's all my... That's my entire wish list. This is definitely my entire wish list right now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Please leave a like if you agree with me. Comment down below on what you guys want in the next Black Ops 3 game. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more COD videos. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.